I would go with your Canadian pronunciation. I wasn't even going to have a go at it. Just another example of the amateur and the professional there, Wayne. Oh, a couple of, uh, couple of bigger boys stepping up in weight. We're now looking at the 86 kilogram. And uh, I would say that the winner out of this bout will fight the winner out of the next bout, but we'll check that later on. Well, in the blue corner, as I said, we've got Art Nyman and uh, Hugh Tierney in the uh, red corner. Hugh Tierney looks a very accomplished guy, but Art has come out strong and uh, very attractive. Fighting, nice stance, good on his feet, on his balls of his feet, moving forward, looking to jab. Tierney looking to be defensive, wait for an opening. Tierney, oh, the, good right hand. The complication uh, that um, the red corner has is they're fighting a southpaw, and what he needs to do is exactly what he did then. Yeah. Every time he throws a jab, it's going to run into the right jab of uh, the blue corner, but he can counter with a hard right, which is what he's done. This is a pretty even, tough fight. Two well-matched boxers. Yeah, and they've got a lot of power in that right hand, Tierney. I can see it. This is one of the reasons why, you know, they, they put the weight categories in. There's a big difference fighting someone a lot lighter than you. Yes, and uh, Tierney is now finding his feet and moving forward. For Art, certainly in the blue corner with the blue helmet, is standing his ground, throwing most of the punches. Art jabbing away. Tierney looking for that opening. Parrying his... Jab, uh, one to suck through there. But nice, nice, uh, nice jab and a nice right cross from the red corner. But uh, again, he's the dominance of his left jab has been negated by that southpaw stance of the blue corner. Yes, it's a like a poised boxer waiting for it, the pounce there, and tyranny is Ooh. just waiting. Oh, a big, a big right. Oh, another, another big, another big right. Oh, Tierney has uh, certainly been waiting for those hits to come in. He's moving his head left to right and shaking himself up. He ducks down and gets a good shot in there with a jab. Art just comes in with a blue helmet and keeps banging away. Art Newman. It was Nyman, not Newman. Tying each other up a little bit. Well, I'll, this one I'll predict is will be uh, will be a split decision in the first round. The the uh, walk up aggressive style of the blue corner against the more orthodox fighter, and there were flurries when one was in front, flurries when the other took dominance. And uh, I would think the judges will tend to be not unanimous in this round, but we'll we'll wait and see. Now the coach over there is telling Art from uh, Finland, Art Nyman, to, to protect his. His, uh, his head with his left uh, glove there because the, the haymaker is coming through and tagging him. Yes, he, he, he truly needs, when he's fighting a southpaw, he needs to counter with that right because uh, the left most of the time is going to be blocked. So combination punches when you're fighting a southpaw become very important and also an ability to move away from the, from the right hand, to move in a... Um, work this out, it'll be an anti-clockwise direction away from the South Pole. Round two coming up. And again, Art Nyman right out, taking the, the lead, pushing his man into the corner. Tierney, again, just standing there, statuesque like, moving his feet, looking for the opening. Quite happy to pick his time. He fakes a, a right steps back oh nice jab oh he tagged him on the top of the helmet there good shot to the rib again uh, ever vigilant the referee has seen a lace is undone and time out while the lace is retied uh, I don't know how they can spot that. They're looking at uh, they're looking at the upper torso, and all of a sudden they they spot that out of their peripheral vision. Yes. The touch gloves again. Right, Nyman, again on the attack. The 
They're battling away. Finland is, uh, right now is wearing a boxing rig from uh, Belfast uh, in his blue thing. Where the guard uh, has got his red tunic on with his helmet comes more to the fore now, moving more into attack. But this is turning out to be a good scrap. It is, it is, and it's, it's going to be hard to judge. I'd like to see, I'd like to see the red corner throwing a few more punches. He tends to work in flurries, whereas the blue corner is always not clean, but he's always coming forward and he's always throwing something, and that's going to have an influence. Yes, it certainly the Art Nyman is always coming forward and throwing punches, as you said, Bob. And uh, certainly Tyranny is a more poised boxer, but he's not scoring the points he should. The Irish contingent behind us are telling him what to do now. And uh, get in there, Tyranny. Get some boxing done. Uh, Art Nyman uh, got a good shot in there at the closing bell. Very, very close contest. Uh, I, I think uh, the blue corner may just have the advantage. Um, just doing a little bit more against the the more orthodox fighting of the um, of the red corner. I, I, I do tend to think that that the southpaw stance is making it very, very difficult. Well, you see both referees, uh, the referees standing in the corner while both coaches are talking to their respective fighters. Uh, Tyranny there is uh, getting a lesson about you know, get in there, get more punches thrown. Don't be so uh, receptive to, to uh, Art Tyranny's punches. And, uh, and uh, he'll, he'll need to pull something out pretty pretty significant to, to get this bout. He's certainly capable of it, but uh, he'll need to do a lot more. Well, round three of three. And uh, Art Nyman has come out again, just as always. He seems he certainly had a three weed mix this morning. <laughs> They're very quick on the attack. Oh, a haymaker that went wild there from Tyranny. Tyranny is looking to store the, that one telling punch. He's looking to break through. You can see he's cocking his right arm. Oh, there's a good shot, but didn't come to anything. Another the, good uh, shot to the head. I think the southpaw stance is really confusing, Tony. He just doesn't quite know how to handle him. He's coming in on top of him, and he's he's probably Norman at normal dominant left jab is just not going anywhere and if he misses with the right cross it, the blue corner is all over him now they're right in front of us going toe to toe and uh, there's nothing between these two bob now a bit around from uh, the red corner but um, a couple of good punches from the red corner as but again the blue is just relentless as he keeps coming forward The attorney's starting to blow a bit now and he's looking to find a, another gear. I think he realizes that his only hope now is to, uh, and, the, and the punches are starting to come. That's both to realize that a knockout's Ooh. gonna be the only thing that wins here. Uh, he ca I can't see that, if the knockout comes, it'll come. The blue corner will be the knockout. Both very, very tired. Both a little reluctant to, to break. And an entertaining fight, a tough fight. But uh, Wayne for mine, blue corner. I think they were both glad the fight was over. <laughs> I, I got no doubt about that. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I, I've got to agree with you. I think Nyman stole that. Although it, the boxer out there in the ring, Hugh Tierney, looked like he was the boxer. But that's yes, yes, he, yeah, very true.
So they're just having a chat with each other and both smiling. So uh, I'm, I'm sort of laughing at the. Um, you got the. You got the Fiji spider who's wearing the. Uh, you mentioned that before, and wearing the, the Belfast singlet. <laughs> yes, I, I thought I had something wrong. I said, "Hang on, he's yeah. not from Belfast." <laughs> I'm just hoping you didn't uh, stitch that up to make me even look more amateur or say, Wayne. Well, the MC is waiting for all the uh, yeah, judges' all cards to come in. The uh, amateur boxing has gone back to a more manual system. Once upon a time, it used to be all electronic and... Um, it was the number of scoring punches, and and uh, quite often that menu, that that uh, electronic timing tended to not work as accurately as a manual system because it didn't take into account the the significance of the punch. So a little tiny tap in a scoring zone would count the same as something that almost knocked the person down. Certainly, Nyman looks more finished now. We see him with a time. Thank you. It looks like a finished ice hockey player. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores are in. Judge 1 scores 29 28. Judge 2 scores 29 28. And Judge 3 scores 29 28. For a unanimous decision in the red corner, you tonight! And sweet appreciation for a fine loser from Finland, Arthur Newman!